here and I'm back with another video. So for today, we're going to talk about skincare. The reason why I'm doing this is because recently I've experienced a really bad skin problem. Like two weeks ago, this is really fresh pa. Um, it's not fully healed. I can still feel may mga small bumps pa ako sa skin ko. But what happened was, for some reason, bigla na lang ako nagkaroon ng mga small bumps on my skin. And I don't understand why dahil wala naman akong ginamit na products na I think na hindi mag-agree yung skin ko. But I do know na I've added some new skincare products sa skincare routine ko. So, I immediately stopped using yung mga inad ko. So, I've added a new toner, a new, uh, what, what else did I add? Um, moisturizer. So, ni-stop ko siya. And then, I also thought, ah, baka yung mga brushes na ginamit ko. Um, so, I stopped using yung mga brushes ko. Lilinisi ko muna. So, I replaced them with with yung clean ones. And then, I've also stopped using my cushion foundation. Kasi baka yung sponge magdumi na or yung product. Kasi more, like, three months na yata yun. So, I'm not, I wasn't sure. So, I stopped using them. Um, and I was thinking na, oh, baka the next day mawawala na siya. But then, it didn't. Um, I previously had, you know, mga ganun na bumps before. Pero, na wala naman sila kaagad. Kasi, may mga times na allergic ako sa, sa foundation. Like, there are some foundation na I think may mga ingredients sila na hindi, na, hindi nag agree yung skin ko. So, when I use them, talagang nagkakaroon ako ng parang I can feel na after a while, medyo yung skin ko nag, nagiging warm siya. Tapos, bilang may mga small bumps na siya. Pero, after I wash it, the next day, Okay na siya ulit. Balik na siya ulit sa normal. This time, hindi na wala yung mga bumps. So, I got really scared. So, what I've done, I, of course, did my research online. I've watched several videos. So, most of the videos na napanood ko, and online din, like Google search, most of the videos na napanood ko, parang ang advice was, okay, use, like, drink a lot of water. Which... I've been doing, I've been drinking a lot of water. Use yung mga products na walang masyadong chemicals or like all natural products. Use aloe vera, although I don't have aloe vera, aloe vera sa bahay, so hindi ako nakagamit. Pero I've also read some na parang yung aloe vera hindi naman siya parang umefect sa skin nila. So I did more research, watched more videos. I've also tried using masks every single day, like for three days. And it didn't really help improve my skin for some reason. I used Lucas Popo and I thought it's gonna help. It didn't really help. For some reason, this time, hindi talaga siya nag-work. And most of the time naman, kapag nagkakarashes ako sa skin ko, when I use this, it worked. But this time, it didn't. I tried using tea tree oil, but no, it didn't work. It didn't work. And I watch more videos. Like, I search parang small bumps on your skin. How to, how to cure or something your bumps, like small bumps on your skin. So I did that. And I found several videos about fungal acne. Fungal acne daw yung tawag. So, medyo na curious naman ako sa fungal acne. Kasi, the description was really similar to kung ano yung na-experience ko. Like, sobrang rough and yung buong skin ko parang nag-red siya. May times, itchy siya. So, after nung na napanood ko yung video, nag-google search ako, syempre, fungal acne, kung ano ba yun talaga. So, fungal acne, based kay Google, fungal acne is a thing and you could have it, maybe. Fungal acne looks like hormonal acne or bacterial acne, but the culprit isn't the same as other type of acne instead it is an overgrowth of yeast that hangs around in the hair follicle so what caused fungal acne so fungal acne is actually caused by yeast so it's a fungus that inflames the hair follicles on your skin and causes pimple like bumps the condition is technically referred to as pterosporum folliculitis or malassezia um, folliculitis I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly guys so pasensya na so I'm just gonna put the description down like 
kung anin tawag don. But but basically, it's malasisya and it's basically a fungus na nagkos non kung bakit nagkakaroon ng small bumps yung skin mo. Yun yung reaction. So there are several ways to treat it. But one, of course, that involves um, drinking a lot of water, taking care of your skin, use natural products. But based on my research, uh, one effective way to treat it is just like how we treat yung dandruff. And because it's fungus, so para siyang dandruff, di ba kapag may dandruff tayo, ang katikati ng anit natin, dahil nga fungus nga yun eh. And based on the videos na mga panood ko, ang ginamit nilang dandruff shampoo, eto. So, Nizoral. I got this 1%. So, you can use the 1% or 2%. But I got the 1% because this is the one available sa chemist warehouse. Sa chemist warehouse ko ito binili. So, I was a bit hesitant na, hala, dandruff shampoo. Baka mamaya lalong maging worse yung skin ko if I use it. But then, when I read yung mga comments dun sa mga videos na yun, I'll anyway link all those the, the two videos that I've watched down in the description box. So if you guys are interested or also experiencing the same, you can go ahead and click on those links para mapanood nyo. Anyway, so nung binasa ko yung mga comments, there are people there na gumamit talaga yung ginawa nila and then they written down yung day-to-day -day na improvement, kung ano yung effect nung etong Nizoral sa skin nila every single day. So, daily na ginamit nila. And, first use, wala. Second use, nag-improve daw. Third use, hala, parang yung iba sa kanila talagang sobrang um-effect. Like, nawala daw talaga. So, the next day, after that, I went ahead and I bought this. So, Chemist Warehouse, I got this for, I'm not sure how much. Parang mga $12 lang yata. $12 dollars Australian. This one, it's 1%. Yan. Color blue siya. So, I bought the small one. 100 ml lang yung binili ko. $12 lang to. Because you only need like a thin layer of it every single day while you have your fungal acne. So, after I bought this, ang una ko minang ginawa, of course, when I got home, nag-patch test muna ako. So, I tested it here, dito sa side nung chin ko. Kasi meron akong, of course, may bumps ako dito rin nung day na yun. Um, so, I patch tested here. I left it for 5 minutes yata yun. And then, wala namang nangyari. Like, hindi naman siya mahapde, hindi naman namula yung skin ko and all that. So, ang ginawa ko, I applied it na after. Kasi wala namang effect sa skin ko na bad. Like, it didn't irritate my skin. So, after I washed after that, I washed my face entirely. And then, I went ahead and applied a thin layer of this. Timed it for 5 minutes. 5 minutes lang, guys. Because this can be really drying if you leave it for longer. You can leave it, I think, max mga 10, up to 10 minutes. Depends on siguro kung how bad your skin is. Pero for me, because I know yung skin ko tends to be a bit dry at times or most of the time. So, I only left it for 5 minutes and then I wash it. Kasi after 5 minutes, magda-dry na talaga siya sa skin mo. And then you wash it. Um, make sure lang to to not put anything on your eyes. Kasi syempre, shampoo siya, di ba? Mahapdi yun. So it can irritate your eyes. So just make sure iwas lang siya sa mata, sa bibig, and all that. So I washed it with lukewarm water. First wash, I'll show you guys yung effect niya sa skin ko. It didn't really do anything. Didn't really do much. So you won't see any difference on the first time you use it. And then second time, I use it the next day. Medyo nag-improve ng konti yung skin ko, guys. This is how effective it was on my skin. Third day na ginamit ko to, that was the real result. Yung talagang makikita mo na talagang nag-improve na talaga yung skin ko na when I when I touch it. Kasi ba pag may bumps ka dito, pag tinouch mo siya, mafe-feel mo talaga, hala, may bumps. Yung third day, Pagka ganun ko, wala na siya, guys. As in, sobrang konting, konting, konting bumps na lang yung natitira sa face ko. So, fourth day ginamit ko siya. As in, para lang to make sure na totally mo wala siya. Pero, of course, 
um, because it's drying, so I stopped using it. I don't use this every day anymore. I only use this the first four days. And nung nawala na yung mga bumps sa skin ko, I stopped it. And then now, I'm just gonna use it once a week na lang. If I feel na may mga bumps ako. So once a week ko na lang siya ginagamit. Together with my regular skincare routine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys. So this is how my skin looks right now. It's not perfect. But at least it's back to its normal self. So I'm happy with how it looks at the moment. And I've changed my skincare a bit. Just a bit lang naman. So tinanggal ko yung mga things na inad ko. Like the toner that I think na nag-cost netong reaction sa skin ko. So, so just to share with you guys my skincare routine. Um, just quickly to remove my makeup. I'm using this. I've been using this for... More than a year na. So, this one, it's the Simple Sensitive Skin Expert uh, Biodegradable Cleansing Wipe. So, on days na nag-makeup ako, I'm gonna use this to remove my makeup. So, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. And then after that, I wash my face with the Foaming Cleanser from QV Face Gentle Foaming Cleanser. Ayan. So, this one, it has a flower oil and vitamin E. And then on days na kailangan ko mag scrub, I use this. So this is the Clear Skin Solution Micro Dermabrasion Cream with glycolic acid. So I only do this like once a week if I feel na marami na akong dead skin cells. So I use this to exfoliate my skin because this one it has like yung mga small beads. But if you you if you have other products na medyo may ganito rin na you think would work, so you can use those. Not necessarily this, but for me, I've got this for a few months na, so this is what I'm using to exfoliate my skin. Then after that, the toner that I'm using, um, I went back with my Essential Power from Laneige. So this one is the Skin Refiner Moisture. Na realize ko lang na hindi pala ko pwede nung mga paiba-ibang mga products because they tend to irritate my skin. So this one is very good for sensitive skin. So sobrang hiyang ako dito, so I went back do this. And then, after that, I apply this one. This is the SK2 Treatment Essence. At night lang, parang konting tap lang. So, this one uh, from Laneige, I use this morning and night. But then, the SK2, I only use this night time ko lang siya ginagamit. So, konting ano lang, like mga few drops and then just pat it on my skin and that's it. And then, after that, I put on my moisturizer. So, again, from Laneige. Sobrang hiyang yung skin ko dito. That's why I, this is what I'm using. And it's effective sa akin, sa skin ko. And then, during days or twice a week, I still use mask just to make sure na well moisturized yung skin ko. So, I like the Innisfree. This is their my real squeezed mask. I love green tea. I also have cucumber. So any mask from Innisfree, I really love. So just so happen na I have yung green tea and the cucumber. So twice a week or sometimes once a week. Depends on yung overall feel ng skin ko. So I use that. And then because I have this one. So this one, it's really nice. It gives a glow to my skin. But at the moment, because nga medyo may reaction yung skin ko, nagre-react sa certain products. So, I stop using this every day. I only use this before I apply my makeup. So, ang ginawa ko na lang dito is parang cream ko siya um, before makeup. Yan. So, under my makeup, I put this one. The Jarlic Pure Age Defying Ultra Firm and Lift. Cream because this one it makes my makeup application flawless, so I really like it. Now, because I have scar here, what I'm using every night ko lang naman siya ginagamit, so I'm using bio oil to reduce yung yung appearance nung ano ko yung itsura nung scar ko here. So I'm using bio oil, so I just massage this like a minute. Then massage lang siya here, like konti lang, one drop, and then massage it on my forehead because I have this scar na um, from the surgery. So I just rub this on my skin at night. And then kapag may pimple ako, what I use naman is the tea tree oil. Yan. So kasi antiseptic siya. So only spot 
spot treatment lang. So yeah, that's that guys. I'm just so happy na gumana to sa skin ko. As in, I'm so glad na bumalik na yung skin ko sa dati. Pero because I'm not a dermatologist, so I can't say na it will work on everyone. So if you are not sure, please consult your dermatologist. Kasi yung mga dermatologist, because they're experts on skin, they might have other alternatives because this might not work for everyone. But I'm just sharing or making this video and and sharing this experience with you guys because it worked sa skin ko and I'm just so happy na nag-work siya sa skin ko. Alright guys, that's that. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you have questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys!